working with people in the village and experiencing what their daily life is like. This is the kindergarten. Janae. It is so hard. She's got the weed. Hey, I'm pretty good at it. I'm gonna grow up and be a fanatic. Kendra and I were just getting ready to start our day with a walk. And then the rain came down. We are here during the rainy season, and when it rains, it pours. This morning we are headed out of Kigali to go to a village to have a village experience. We're gonna spend the morning working with people in the village and experiencing what their daily life is like. Hello. The kids are reading on the drive. Caleb, what are you reading? Uh, a long walk to water. A long walk to water. Lisey, what are you reading? Uh, facing the lion. I'm reading The Land of Second Chances. What's that the story of? It's like about a Rwandan cycling team. Very cool. Hey girls! I cannot get over the beauty here in Rwanda. We're here in rainy season, so I think everything's extra green and lush and amazing, but everywhere you look, it's just gorgeous. And we woke up to pouring rain, so we weren't sure if this is gonna get canceled or not, but village life happens whether it's raining or not. So I'm a little bit worried. Okay, I'm a lot worried about mud today um, and just how much more rain we're going to encounter, but that's it. We're just gonna jump in. So this was a nonprofit that was set up about 14 years ago and it's set up to provide the community here with schooling, with food and farming, and through tourism it funds a lot of the activities and so it's a self-sustaining village and is also very mission-based. This is the kindergarten class. Everyone shake. shake. They asked us to teach them a song. Do you know the word wiggle? Yeah. Wiggle. 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 Do you know the word jump? Uh -huh. yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. This is how this song goes. Ready? You got to shake. 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 Good job! He's building the gate so that no one will come in. Each night they close the gate, but they do it by building branches. You may come on okay. Help. help. Yeah. Caleb, help build the gate. <laughs> this is an important part of their tradition to end and begin each day. And even the type of wood that is used is very symbolic of safety and security of your home. This is pretty. Oh, and then we tie. Yes. Oh, I try like this. Yeah. this one. You like this one? Esther is teaching us how to put on these cloths like traditional clothing and to protect our clothes. Ooh. Oh. Janae. Now your hair is all protected. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Janae, you ready to work? Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm yeah, we're, we're gonna work. I thought it was cool how they used cow dung to paint. Yeah, ash and cow dung is how they would paint the bottom. And then a clay would be used to paint this plaster white. It reminds me of um, togas. Yeah. We're gonna have to She's got a great way of tying these scarves. I love these scarves. So this is the name of the nonprofit, African Transformation Network. You're gonna work in the outfits just like a villager would.
We're going now to fill up the water. And, uh, this well has been made by ATM just for this community. Oh, you made this one for yes, this community. For the community. Before this, where did they go to get water? They go in the swamp. Just in the swamp. swamp. And water is clean. That's the problem. Today you're gonna fill it up. We have to make sure that it comes to Did you guys hear that kid? <laughs> what? Before you go to school in the day, your chore would be to come and make sure you get the water for the day before you go to school. You gonna carry the water up the hill? Yeah. It's about halfway full for Jimmy. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. I would like to try. <laughs> so it was a bit of a walk down here, and then this is heavier than you would anticipate. It's amazing that kids are doing this before school and after school every day. All right, she's got it up on her head. Do you think you can walk all the way up the mountain with it on your head? This is so heavy. That would be the normal one we see people carry all the time. Especially for boys your age, Isaac. Dang. <laughs> yeah, I honestly haven't seen hardly anyone carrying these little ones. We see these big ones being carried all the time. And if you have a bike, they'll put five or six on them and push them up the hill. Oh. <laughs> my goodness. Dad, good luck. Yeah, you have to carry that one. No, no, no. This is for Dad. I don't think so. I think you are seeing a difference for you. You have water everywhere in the house, yes. but for us, I have to walk a distance. Yes. So water. Is Laura got hers up top. So she's corking it. <laughs> she's corking it and holding it. It's so much easier doing it on your head. Mm -hmm. I totally understand. Uh, yours is uh, leaking out everywhere. <laughs> yours is peeing on you. <laughs> the hill just keeps going. Yeah, lots of hills. Like as you're walking up, it's like, will this hill ever stop? But it's easier on my head than, than trying to carry it. it. Yeah, below. So he's using his thumb to cover the opening, and he's getting a little wet, but that probably feels nice because it's warm out. So Mr. Beast posted a video. I'm doing a hundred wells in Africa, but before he did one of the wells, he walked down to the bottom of a valley to collect water and then carry it up. It is so hard. So they explained that this well was put in in 2014, so 10 years ago. And before then, people were getting water from a swamp in the area. Now, just two years ago, um, they've started to have the option to put water inside of some homes. And so some of the homes are beginning to have running water in them. But this is just amazing. You know, you think you understand what it means to go get water. And obviously we can't understand it just doing it one time, but we're getting a glimpse. It should be a good workout. Yeah. Good job, Daddy. Thanks. All right. This water is for the cows. Right here. Oh, I think he's wanting a big meal. Look at his whole mouthful. So cows are so important in Rwanda. It's even still used as a dowry gift that the husband's parents give to the spouse an amount of cows when they get married. Cows are considered life-giving. They're respected very, very much. Oh, they took from you. Oh, this is a pregnant cow. It ate your food. It's eating my food. I it. There you go. <laughs> All right, now we're coming into the kitchen. There is a lot of smoke in here. So this is our traditional kitchen. So the sort of stoves that we are cooking on this side, that one we have like mm -hmm. We are cooking beans and yams. We will eat yams. Mm -hmm. 
You gave them the bean water. All right, now we're heading out to the farming section to do some farming work. I'm still recovering from the water carrying. Really? Yeah, I'm like still all shaky. So this plant right here is the sweet potato and we are doing all the no, weeding. No, no, this one is. <laughs> That's a weed. <laughs> no, this, there we go. This is the sweet potato. Wait, so this is a weed? And yes. then everything else we're weeding, we're pruning away. It's very hard to tell the difference between the sweet potato and the weeds. For us. For me. <laughs> I, I am struggling. She's got the weed. So they use the weeds as fertilizer. Okay, what do I do with that one now? They lay the weeds by the sweet potato. So when I was a kid, we would actually have to hoe a row as a daily chore in our garden. And it was actually longer than this. We would definitely use a hoe when we were doing it, but, uh, but it was a lot easier for me to tell the difference between a weed and a cantaloupe or a weed and Corn. I found a massive Make sure to get it from the bottom. There we go. It's nice that it rained. It's a lot yeah, easier to get the weeds. Where should I put this? So you want to put it down by the sweet potato. So here's the sweet potato. Uh, yeah. That's what they've been doing. Good weed pulling. Okay. <laughs> Today, what do you love about it? I love that we get our hands dirty. Yeah. Caleb caught a little froggy. It's a nice little froggy. What are you going to name him, Janae? I'm going to name him Lily. Lily. That's a very good name for him. Literally. Literally? I could never manage this type of a life. You like it? Yeah. You could live here? Yeah. Definitely. I like the clothes. It's good. We did get a little muddy on the shoes. We're washing our hands with the water. But if we have to go get more water from washing our hands, I would be quick to not wash my hands ever again. Janae's pretty attached to this guy. Literally. Literally. This is a great experience. It is starting to rain a little bit. It's so nice because like it's not air conditioned, so. so it feels refreshing. So Kendra's learning about the making of the mats. This is what they sleep on. Yes, I can try. And then like that. Tight. Okay, and then I need the next one. Oh. You kind of like crocheting. Kendra could really get into this kind of work. I'm gonna make you some mats. Was not able. Uh oh. Literally almost got away. Jump, jump, jump. So, when it's like happy. people are like talking, when they're like, pumpkin. These are this is a dry pumpkin? Yes. It's a big What's piece in of it? What is in it? The maid, there is milk. So and she's. We are shaking milk. So that can get butter. This is how you make butter here. So this is the end product. Right yes, here. this is butter. Wow. Fresh banana leaves. Ah, uh, she's putting it in a little bit of a pink vine. Together, oh. the same women oh. in villages today still doing this. It's like a kneading motion. <laughs> hey, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> Would the boys help their mothers with this, or no, just girls? Oh, the girls. It's harder than it looks, though. Yeah. But nowadays we are in gender balance. Even if yes. boys, they can do it. Yes. But in the farmer time, was strict. So what if you didn't have any girls? Indeed. <laughs> Janae is then, sifting the flour so we get the fine flour through. So you buried the bananas? Yes, like this. Mm -hmm. We put the banana, that, with the green one, and it's the warm uh, we heat. We take sodium, the one we will make our mm. How is it, Caleb? Great. Very right. 
So they go through a whole process of wrapping the green bananas in leaves mm -hmm. and burying it, and that gets it all good and ripe and ready to be juiced. Yeah. Cows like the banana feels. I'm gonna grow up and be a banana It's hot water. Hey, Lisi, you're missing out. You would love this. The irony here is there's few things in the world that Kendra doesn't love to eat. Bananas and messy stuff. Bananas is one of them. Those of you that know me well know that me squeezing all this banana juice is, is a big deal for me. But it actually it feels really cool. Listen, and it smells. You take like this. <laughs> she was in. She did it. What does it feel like? It feels like seaweed with water. Janae's getting ready to take her little froggy back into the garden. It's starting to rain. We're gonna be eating lunch and then we're gonna go. go off on his own. Let's go eat lunch, okay? I think he really enjoyed playing with you for the last hour or so. You took care of him really well. We're learning how to eat the tomato. Okay, how about the passion fruit? Passion fruit. For the passion fruit, you remove this one. Mm -hmm. Then you cut a small part. You see? Okay. Ah. Then you cut it. Swallow like. Try to, to show you how to look inside. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's of the tomato, the tree yeah. tomato. You got it? Isaac really likes passion fruit. I got it. It's amazing how sticky it is. So these are the flowers put together. Yeah, I think this is going to be Dad's favorite. How are you liking it? It's really good. Lisa's really going to town with the food. It's really good. Right after the lunch, we're heading out. Janae is trying to say one good, one more goodbye to her frog. So there's many facets of this nonprofit. One part of it is the education. Another part is a vocational school where they teach people welding or farming or, you know, other skills. A whole other piece of the nonprofit is going in and helping people who are on the streets in Kigali, maybe as prostitutes or homeless or orphans, and giving them school or education so that they can make a living in other ways. One of the ways that they're able to help fund the nonprofit is through tours like we're doing today, where we get to come in and see the organization be a part of some of the experience of a day in the life of a village here in Rwanda. We came home and the very important next step is cleaning our shoes. Faustine is helping the kids. They are working on it, but he is showing them how it's done. Janae's loving basketball. Yeah! <laughs> Caleb is finishing up. All right, so both of you girls did basketball as well today. How did it go? It was awesome. He helped us, he helped me at least. There's some like drills, he taught me how to lay out and shoot from really far away. The lay up? Lay up, not lay out. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. I mix that up. What'd you think about it? I enjoyed it, it was really fun. It was the first basketball lesson I've ever had, mm -hmm. so yeah. Me and Isaac are going to a Bible study with the friends that we met, and I'm really excited. Yeah, and it's with a lot of the people who are at the basketball practice too. Mm -hmm. Should be fun. It's cool that we're connecting with so many people here in Rwanda. Yeah, and I'm so happy that we're going to be here for a month, but show off your hair. Ooh. Shotgun. shotgun has been called. It's yep. time to go. We're really, really grateful. We went to church on Sunday and met a family. How many kids do they have? Four. Four kids that line up with our children. 
and that just it, it's amazing we get such great advice from them and our kids are able to connect with them it's it's been fun to find other families that we're connecting with here in Rwanda. Well, the kids love their Bible study. It was a lot of fun. Now we're hanging up some of the laundry. It was outside, but it could rain any moment in the night. So we're hanging it up inside. What'd you learn about the Bible study? Like judgment and stuff. And we also played games. So that's fun. And there were maybe some games. Yeah. Good night. Do you have sound? <laughs> We're camping. We're staying in tents. There's no in the middle of the fence around this place. I love you.